So when we at Frontiers went out to look for inspiration, we found it in the airline industry. Now, many of us have witnessed how this industry has scaled tremendously while at the same time becoming more efficient and safer. And they've done this by combining processes and technology in a really unique way. And there are three concepts that we really like at Frontiers. The first one is standard operating procedures. Now, these are step-by-step -step instructions that are aimed that every time a task is performed, you're getting a uniform quality out of it. The second one is checklists. And checklists are the perfect tool to make sure that the standard operating procedures are followed. And the third one is a flight recorder. So that's a black box, a unique central place where you store everything that's going on and that has happened. And this enables you that in case something goes wrong, you can go back and you can find out why and iteratively make sure you learn out of every experience. So when an article comes in into our system, it starts in our submission system. Now we've rebuilt this from scratch last year, and it is really aimed at making it easy and intuitive to submit all the information that is required. But what happens once the article is in? We start by extracting information from it. Of course, like the title, the offers, their affiliations, the abstract, the body text, the figures, but also the references. And we're sending all of this information to IRA. Now, this is our artificial intelligence review assistant, and it immediately starts running quality checks on the manuscript. And these quality checks range from assessing the language quality, detecting plagiarism, finding humans in images, but even checking the manuscript against our ethical guidelines. And all of these quality checks are brought right into our review forum where everything happens. And IRA categorizes them for us into green, everything is fine, yellow, a warning, someone should have a look at this eventually, or red, this is a blocker, the manuscript cannot move forward without a human clearing it. In this particular example, it's nice to see that the human always stays in control. Ira detected animal-related terminology inside of the manuscript, but while this manuscript is talking about animals, it doesn't contain them as part of the study, so a human goes in and overrides these checks and clears the manuscript to move forward into peer review. So the next step is finding the right reviewers. And here we go one step further. On top of what we've extracted out of the manuscript before, we're also extracting key terminology that is describing the content of the manuscript. And together with all the other information, we again send it to IRA, which now uses a huge knowledge graph to make the best reviewer suggestions possible. And again, all of this information is brought right into the review forum where all the action happens. And our editors get to see who are the best reviewers for this manuscript, and they get to invite them with a click of a button. But on top of that, they also see why these people have been recommended. And we're showing the five most relevant publications that have been taken into consideration for this recommendation, and we're highlighting the terminology it has in common with the submitted manuscript. So now the article is in review. And of course, also here, we're doing plenty of things. As a start, we're detecting delays. Every manuscript is being constantly monitored. And when we detect a delay, we remind people or we escalate if necessary. But we are also guiding our editors and reviewers into what are the next steps, what is it that they have to do next, and how should they be doing it. 
but also here we assess the quality of the review process itself. And IRA comes back into the game, performing several quality checks, such as conflict of interest, or even assessing the quality of the peer review itself. So we currently have over 15,000 manuscripts in review. That is huge. And to keep an oversight over all of this, we've built our digital editorial office, which provides to us and to you, our chief editors, the best overview of what is actually going on in your journal. And you can see in what stage your manuscripts are, if they're on time, if they're delayed. You see all the details that are required, and you get easy access directly to the review from, from here. But you also see how your editorial boards are doing and how your research topics are doing. So you see we've built a lot of procedures and technology to enable us to publish this really amazing research in the most effective way. And in the progress, we've realized that it's a huge value to have all of these tools integrated together in one platform and in one place. So as a consequence, we will be extending our platform to be figuratively an airport. And we will make our platform available to third parties in the future, such as societies or other publishers, so that we all together can take off into the open access future. <laughs>